Me and Matt here, we're on our way to a sick ass party. They're pretty sick. We're both crushing it. Everybody get up. It's time to space change. <laughs> All right, listen, people hate poop talk. I know, dude. I, I mean, hemorrhoids, we're not talking poop, we're talking hemis. We talk That's a hemis. serious business, dude. That is serious. I thought my dad used to talk about hemorrhoids, and I'm like, I don't think I get these things. I yeah. got that first one, and I went, you had a one. Someone I've never was telling me, like someone it. was telling me it wasn't, they're like, That's not even a hemorrhoid. I don't That's believe That's called that like that was something. A thrombosis i think yeah. that i got like a side effect that's like one of the side effects of covid your blood vessels just like blow up like that really i don't know that's probably i shouldn't say <laughs> that but yeah true or now the, that we're sorry. sponsored by dairy queen true we don't <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna give out any false information true that dude no i um yeah i think i actually there's a rumor going around that i had covid last week people are trying to say i had covid at the wedding no, that just people. I think people on the internet are trying to say I had COVID. Oh, because you weren't on. Yeah. yeah, I didn't though. I actually, I've, no. I've, in fact, I went and got tested responsibly before the show. Did you really? Before our, our, our I testing. see. What happens to me is I feel like I've, I think I've had COVID. It's, it's even on Vax, I still get tested. Do you really? True, I do. You should. Was, you know, I they, do. they found that people carry the same viral load or vaccine, vaccinated I, or not. I was around somebody. One study, Colorado. I was State. around somebody mm -hmm. who had come down with the COVID. Yep. So I went and got tested immediately. Yeah. Turns out I, I didn't have it thanks to the vaccine, Matt. True. One, vaccine, one shot. It off. No, I got both. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have both. Yeah, man. I uh, Dairy Queen. I have both. It's funny. It's funny because I feel I felt COVID enter my system a couple times, and my body just destroys it. Yeah, it's bizarre. No, but look at like you. I had all the symptoms. You that built like a brick house. That <laughs> obviously, you're gonna crush COVID. Pass. It comes in, and it's just like my body. I feel my body just like you know do what it needs to do, and just. Just get it the hell out of there. You want to keep whispering back there? What the fuck? There's no talking. Talk. What do you got? What do you got to say? Speak up. <laughs> okay. So I was gonna. I asked Gardini if he wanted some of my grapefruit, uh, but then I, he took some. But then I. But then I remembered that he might be allergic to it. So I said, "Oh no, I hope you don't seize up." Why? Uh, oh, because he had a seizure. It was a blood orange. No. No, I said it's a ruby red grapefruit. Ruby red. Grapefruit? You whispered it's a ruby red grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ruby red grapefruit. <laughs> Well, you guys knocking we'll deal with both of you guys with those mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's got to be crazy for a youngster to get anymore. You guys got to be totally. I mean, I guess are, do they love like like you know like Trump loving alphas like you guys? Just like anti-vax yes. Trump loving alphas like you guys. You guys are lady <laughs> yes. of the tramp in that mic, dude. You guys are gonna <laughs> you guys are gonna kiss. <laughs> So you guys, girls these days, your age, love Trump loving alphas like you two yeah. that love ruby red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's what's the scene like? What what are dudes doing for growing mustaches and eating grapefruit? Is that what it's all about? Oh. Is that what chicks want to see? Mm -hmm. Damn, isn't that crazy? How it just always resets, dude. If I had a mustache <laughs> in my days in college, I would have got laughed out of the class. That's what you think. No, I know true. that. You just gotta you just gotta be confident. You have no, I confidence, was, no, I, no, I was super confident. I don't think dude. confidence is a problem for that, dude. <laughs> I'm too confident. It's like, no. grow, grow a mustache then. No, I, I'm not. I think you guys, you know, I think you guys are mustaches are cool. I'm not. I was never against them. I'm saying in my <laughs> day, you weren't it's really. Real, well, they're real ironic, these two. Like, are you, do you uh, actually support no, your mustache? not at all. You're you guys are real. I truly, I truly like, love uh, my mustache. Yo, I got this mustache because I'm ironic. <laughs> No, I cut my hair because I'm ironic. True. The mustache is cool. The hair was nice. You had such nice hair. Oh, All right, man. guys, we're doing a podcast. True, guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> can't just be fun like this. True, dude. It's a Sponsor. serious business. Yeah, dude, this is Fortune 500. Is Dairy Queen Fortune 500? Oh, yeah. I think it might be like Fortune 700. This is the most fortunes. Fortune 250. Yeah, it was such a crazy fortune. <laughs> we Dairy start... Queen's surviving. Not only surviving, but thriving right now. True. Not a lot of companies are thriving. The queen's thriving right now. Dairy Dude, queens. Have you been? Have you can try to conduct a transaction in like a brick and mortar store? There's no employees anymore. No, there's all the not. employees are gone. I was there's in Best not. Buy today, looking like an idiot. Yeah, you gotta stand in line like you're poor. Well, oh, I, I went to. I had to go to. Uh, the well, cell lines phone are bro. for poor people. I had to go to the cell. True. I had to go to the cell phone bros and be like, hey, like, there's just nobody there at TVs, and I've been here. I talked to you that whole conversation. I like went there, saw a bunch of people waiting, and they're like. I just talked to you for 10 minutes and then walked back and there were, everyone was gone. There was no employee. And I just went and got the cell phone bros. And the guy was like, I got you, bro. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I went, there was a Snoco on the way, way down here. And the line was through the back of the store. There's one employee. Really? It Popeye's line around the corner. I mean, yeah. it was crazy. Because they're giving everyone money to sit on their ass right now. Sitting on their keister. They're not a hard lot workers of young, like us. Yeah. You got a lot of, true. You get a lot of hard. <laughs> well, I'm not taking any handouts. I think we kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> <True. Yeah. laughs>
No, you hear Lamero's on here being like, no, it's good. We're all chilling. I'm like, that's not good, dude. What, all chilling? Yeah, dude. Just being like, we're all going to suck the teat, dude, of the Fed. True. They're, that's not free money. No. They're going to get you. Yeah. They're, I mean, they are. Dude, Canada right now, you're not allowed. Dude, coming you October, that? you can't fly or, or uh, take a train. Really? If you're not vaxxed in Canada. Just going to have to travel by dog sled. True. Like the rest of those dumbasses up True. there. True. They're going to be funny when they're sneaking it. We have like conservative Canadians sneaking over. The First of all, they're not going to sneak. If people are just going to be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. on in, bros. <laughs> but the... um. Some I was watching a thing. Some guy was saying that he's moving all legally, um, but in order to get out of Canada, he had to take a helicopter. So you weren't apparently you weren't allowed to drive across the border. But if you pay a helicopter pilot twenty two hundred dollars, they'll drive, they'll fly you over the border. Then your tar, your car can be towed behind you. He's moving to Florida. Nice, yeah, Patriot moving from Canada yeah, to Florida. Canada to Florida is it the only or the uh, manhood? No, no, no. Oh hell no. Randy's probably doing just fine. Randy's definitely yeah. Randy's doing just fine. He's like Dairy Queen. Yeah, he's doing uh, just fine. I do want to grow a long pony, but I, I kind of like being high and tight and just kind of keeping it low key. You feel fast. I mean, you do. I, I, I would. The one thing I miss is feeling the wind on the side of my head. Yes. <laughs> this is a little bit helmety, but it feels nice. That's Instantly, right. I felt lighter. I didn't have a jet flop. This is around. good. We've got three distinct vibes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We definitely do. I'm all in business. I might fire. You guys mind if I fire my LinkedIn? You guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is you're going to fire us. No, dude. Say, yeah, I quit. You can't fire me. <laughs> I'm walking out now. True. No, there's no fight. Dude, I'm telling you, I've, I'm all fun and games, dude. Don't let this haircut fool you. Yeah. I still like having a good time. I just get, dude, I think I have Britney Spears. I just get like so impetuous. I'm like, I'm cutting my hair. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't freak out or anything. But I was thinking about that today. I'm like, I, I this I do this all the time. I grow my hair long as, and I go, I want to cut it all off. And I cut it all off and go like, I wish I had long hair. I'm just a mess right now, guys. <laughs> you know she's going through like a slutty Instagram phase now. I right? might be. She's. Oh wait. Oh, you're talking oh, about yeah. Brady. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna go Brady, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. dude no, I was thinking about can. doing that the other day, though. Just like, just like just like slowly working in the shirtless pics into my Instagram. You know, like doing it. You know, first like it will make sense the first couple times, and then after a while, it's like, oh, is he doing this? Or you're like in bed on like an angle. I There's mean, some dudes that just live their life like that. They yeah. just get hot and like try to send like horny pictures out to the world. That's got to suck, dude, to see that your grandfather was like a horny picture guy. That's disappointing. That would be so disappointing for your family. Did you, you know? see the shorts our grandfathers were wearing, though? Like every Reddit, like, here's my grandfather. All grandfathers were wearing like two and a half inch inseam. Hog pressed against them. Yeah, dude. We yeah. got to bring it back. I agree. I totally I, agree. If I, dude, if my, if my grandchildren grow up on the internet and they don't have any like, check out how hot my grandpa was, I've failed them. Yeah. I have to get twice as jacked as I am. I have to get kind of slutty on the internet so that they can get True. like. Yeah, but those, those in the bed pictures, like holding the camera up at, is when you, when a guy takes a picture like that. I guarantee you, when he comes, he arches his back. <laughs> I guarantee you. Really? <laughs> For sure. You think that's in, like, when he, when he does, I see what you're saying. Do you like, think that's, like... like... Like, on his back. He arches his back. Oh, he bridges. Yeah, he bridges when he, he comes. He bridges when he comes? Yeah, and grabs the sheet. He, he grabs... Did you see that video Tim Dillon shared about Australia? No, which one? It was crazy. It was, like, local news in Australia, and they were just, like, zoomed. They had a surveillance footage of a guy with COVID leaving his house. And they were like, don't be like him. There's like seven He's people. a bad guy. What? Yeah. Dude, they I think. publicly shamed it. They're arresting people for being outside. Yeah, they've been They having... go to work sites and check everybody's card. Do they really? They send you home if you're, I don't know. I mean, dude. Yeah, Canada's on fast tracking to be doing something very similar. But cares, dude. dude? Oh, dude, that's, that's creep in. Of course it is. That's going to creep. That's a bad thing, dude. I know it's bad. That's full power to all of our enemies. All we just have to say is full no. power to all of our. I mean, for sure. It's I'll like go, no, thank I'm God America's a heavily armed population. Sure. Thank God we didn't let them take our guns, dude. I'm dead serious, dude. <laughs> no, I know you are. I'm dead serious. That's what's. Like. <laughs> that's all, that's the reason they can't do that. <laughs> yeah. They've been trying, dude. This is this is wicked what they're up to right now. Yeah. In Australia, dude, you can't go if you're like five miles outside your house. They'll come grab you and find you yeah. with five G's. Yeah. Nuts. I don't like it. Dude, I mean, they're gonna rile up. There's gonna be they're, they're gonna tap into like those boys are yeah really those criminals. I mean, dude, they're white, from disgusting white trash true. criminal ancestry. Yeah, man. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna Imagine fire getting up. kicked out of Ireland. <laughs> How do you have to be to get kicked out of Ireland? That's just, who they're working just with. Just sent to Van Diemen's land. 
dude, they're going to get good. telling you, man, they're uh, with a bad, some bad hombres. They're going to turn white dudes into bad hombres, dude. You think? Oh, yes. They're gonna, they keep <laughs> up. That's going to be it's not a good thing. <laughs> yeah, they'll get fired up. You need dude. white dudes just in their Under Armour, just chilling, chilling. tucked in. Just drinking some light beers. Yes. Once you start just crushing these dudes, the, the broski. Once are you say you can't go outside and drink those light beers, yeah, man, they're not gonna have fun. Can't get your vitamin D. You need. I get my vitamin D. D. I get my magnesium, dude. I'm, you know, they can't tell me anything, honestly. Yeah, I, but dude, it's it's gonna. Has I'm anybody, them, have they tried yet? Have they called you and been like, stay inside, dude? Nah, but there's there's been there's been rumblings. I my uh, my personal network has been some people who have been kind of even grumbling about your. Not like my immediate, my immediately Your house. Cavalier absolute, attitude. My house is an COVID. absolute sanctuary. Yes, there's obviously no. You're very dissent. cavalier about this COVID. disease. I don't do that. I've been just checking the numbers. I'm not afraid of it. It's just you know, it's like for younger people. I got an argument with my babysitter about Man, this. Just get the vax, dude. No, dude. My body, Man, my, body my, choice, my body, my listen choice, my body, my choice, my body, my choice, my body, my choice. Listen to me. <laughs> just get the vax. Wear a mask. My body, my choice, my body, my choice, my body, my choice. I want you to get it. It makes dude, me. It's it thing. worries me that you I don't check have the numbers. It. If I found it, if if the data were compelling, I'd obviously get it. I got all my other shots. The way they're rolling this thing out is just freaking me out, mm. man. It's freaking me. Pfizer's FDA approved now, bro. Yeah, dude. So was Viox. I used to take Viox and it gave people heart attacks. <laughs> so yeah, okay. <laughs> What's Viox? It was like an anti inflammatory medication. I had like my I hurt my ribs playing sports, playing rugby, full contacts, crazy no pads, and the uh <laughs> <laughs> I got metal, metal, metal cleats. Thoughts, but <laughs> yeah, I strained my like, all the like best athletes I knew played rugby in school. I mean, it's you know, it's a different type. I could see if you're if I had like you know, I'm playing more for like the love of the game, but if I had like money on D1, like if I had yeah. like if I had obviously like, committed myself, I just didn't choose that path, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dude, I my aunt gave it to me, and like my I had inflammation in my uh, chest, like my rib cage got inflamed. Oh man, yeah, it's brutal sport, and uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I was taking it. it seems called, brutal. I wouldn't want to play that. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty fun. But she called me and she, uh, <laughs> she was like, "Oh yeah, you got to stop taking that." Like people have been like keeling over for that. Really? Yeah, I was in high school. I was a youngster. I'm like, Put his legs together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 he doesn't do a power stance. You know, you know, when you're a missionary, you gotta have a kind of a power stance. <laughs> you can't go legs together and just. So you're telling me he's a, he's a full. <laughs> it's full nutcracker. Yeah. He's in a full nutcracker <laughs> yeah, stance. He is. He is. <laughs> Yeah, or he might just go full body stiff. He might just go like, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might go, I might fish up. I might go electric eel on my babe. I had a thought today that I think what's going on um, on the internet and, you know, abroad is, and I think we all do this. We all do it subconsciously. We're all constantly trying to frame reality in little ways where like we're winning all the time. Even if it's like a daydream, like, dude, if that said something to me, I would like him like definitely get in his face. Oh, here's yeah, here's my victory condition. And then so we do this in our heads all the time, but I think with comments you can now get that juice from like you like watch a thing and you frame yourself as like being like, I'm better than this thing, and then you explain why and you're just like, Yes, I'm winning. I'm winning. That's why I'll never take a position on the internet again. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Oh, the only position you can take. Aside, aside from saying that Primus is for dudes, I will never, ever <laughs> share an opinion on the internet. I think the only thing you can do is just be pumped on the boys. The boys. Did you see? I was watching this Australian rapper, dude. It's, that's the only thing I can watch Which, online now. What's his name? Uh, Spanion. Mm. <laughs> he was yawn. Dude, he's so, so funny. I was hanging with the boys. You're with uh, Kieran. I think his name's Kieran J. Callanan. No. That's a wild. You remember the remember that meme video of like the cowboys screaming over a mountain, like super it was from a music video, where it's like kind of. Ah! I, I kind of remember that. That guy's cool. He's all about getting pumped up. Really? That's yeah. all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just want to get. It's pumped, a shame man. that Australia, I think, is being taken over right now. They're like shooting people in their houses for not getting medicine. Around. Dude, I've heard that, and some people are trying to say like, no, that's not even real. I think there's like a lot of difference between the different areas. Dude, I was also I also heard that in Australia they have a rule in certain areas. That if you have anything, they're making over- you fight a kangaroo if you won't get the back. <laughs> True, <laughs> <laughs> dude. They're saying, uh, if you have, say, I had like a, you know, like a brand new cell phone on me, but my brand new cell phone comes in the mail and I leave my family. <laughs> my, if I had a brand new cell phone on me, the cops stop me. They could sh- they could search me and be like, "Where's the receipt for your cell phone?" And if I can't produce a receipt, they can presume that I stole it and then lock me up. It's so that's. There, there's no way you have that right. Yeah, it's everybody's so walking around with dossier of their paperwork in Australia. That's what, and this was this law was in effect before like everyone was using like smartphones. And so you like the, the guy Spanion was talking about it. How he got he had an iPod, 
And they're like, where's the receipt? And he's like, dude, I was in jail. You're getting like, this third hand from an Australian wigger? Three months. Yeah, <laughs> dude, he's, dude. He's, dude, I'm telling you, that guy, I mean, he's telling the truth. He maybe he is. I don't know. He, he'd be, dude, he, you, I just the, want to disagree. The stakes are this. too high, dude. There's no way I want to accept this. The stakes are too high. But I, but from what I have heard is it's it differs in different ter- like territories or states, whatever they have. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure Aborigines don't have paperwork that heavy. That's probably why they have a lot. Why do you think it yeah. was more time to do crack cocaine than powder cocaine, bro? We're doing this all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> we do got they, this figured out. Do dude. they still call them black fellas? Do they call them black fellas in Australia? Yeah, it's like black dudes in Australia. I think we're called black fellas. That's kind of maybe nice. the Aborigines. I don't know. That's kind of nice. Is that so? I'm. This might be her, a horrific word that I'm saying. I'm not sure. I thought yeah, it might. Yeah, you gotta be, be tough with Australian slang, New Zealand yeah. slang. Yeah, because sometimes I, think I heard someone say it during a haka or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, you know, you could be saying, like, like you could black be Australian. Fellas does sound I don't know why I asked Sid if they're calling Australian dudes. Black. No, there's not. There's a racial slur in Australia. It's, you just shorten Aboriginal, and apparently that's a Abby. No, you guys are you guys are getting warm. <laughs> getting warm. Ridges? No. Ab Ab Ginnels? No. <laughs> Close. Knees? No. Ginnies? No. You just literally it's the first three words. It's the first three letters. Abo. Yeah. You said it, not me. Whoa. Yeah. That you. did sound ugly. That does. I didn't like that at all. Yeah. Spud didn't yeah. know. Spud said it the one time, but he thought it was um he was dating a girl who was Aboriginal and she would say it all the time. So he was like, Oh, that's you know. He's like, I can't have fun. <laughs> can't say the A, <laughs> can't say the a word? He was just yeah. tossing around like it was that was it. And yeah, someone was like, what man? He was like, I don't know. Oh, man. I can't wait to. Blackfellas. I feel like that's friendly, though. Well, Blackfellas bad or good? Do they? Apparently, it's hand in hand with Aboriginal. They call Aboriginals Blackfellas or the Aisler. So is black is blackfellas like the step between the proper and like the is it a healthy compromise hard slur yeah, yeah. I'll it's keep like looking yeah there's, there's a lot of well you could do black, black fella? fella too what black fella? fella black fella there's a lot of different spellings sounds so pleasant though. get canceled if you say black feller <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pro it sounds like really nice. Yeah, black fella. My buddy is a black fella. If that's a slur, it's the most pleasant one. Yeah. That's Australia, man. Australia's crazy. What's Australia called? gangster rap's crazy to get into. I, I can't imagine. Australia's not real. <laughs> that's a fair Australia point. That's exist. a fucking fair point. Australia's a TV show, essentially. Yeah, you're telling me it's a primarily white country near like Antarctica? Yeah. That's all trash. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that, dude. I don't think it exists. How, oh, the flight's 24 hours. It's like, dude, you're just flying all the way around the world and landing in Canada. Knock it off. <laughs> Knock it off. I know what you're doing. I know what the- you're doing. <laughs> That's a fair point. Dude. Ever- it's just Canada. <laughs> Here comes Taurus, guys. Come on, let's drum it up. Yeah. Soft A? Which- just found out that the Aboriginals call themselves black fellas. Oh, no, so you can't, I I can't get in on the phone. They call themselves black fellas? Yeah, with the soft A. That's kind of chill. It's going to be a karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting up my Spanion jam. True. <laughs> Last week, me and Matt here were on our way to a sick ass party. They're pretty sick. We're both crossing it. Everybody get up. It's time to space change. What were you doing? It was the bell of the ball last night. Were you really? Oh, oh. it was me and all the black fellas. Oh, shit. <laughs> me and the black fellas did a comedy show together. And then me and the black fellas went and sang karaoke. <gasps> you did? And the black fellas, they love singing. Yeah. And they don't like Sweet Home Alabama. You hit Sweet Home Alabama? <laughs> I waited all night. <laughs> and then I was patient? like, all right, I'll sing. I was very, I was waiting very patiently. <laughs> And I, I waited until I got drunk enough to pull it off. But what hurt me was Leonard Skinner's music video just happens to be the... Oh, it's nothing but fucking stars and bars? happens to be the fucking Confederate flag the entire time. Oh, and the yeah. whole room was fuming. <laughs> they were so mad. Yeah. <laughs> when did they start playing music videos at karaoke? I don't know. They were, they were Usually it's just fuming. the words. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> so it was nope. just, oh. Yeah, everyone was like, who put this on? And I was like, big wheels, keep on turning. <laughs> it was terrible. You're just sitting on this? I was the only honky in the room, too. I was getting <laughs> evis- No, actually, I take that back. There were a couple honks. They probably fled, dude. All the honks. You're a honk in that. You're in the, you're in the honky tonk, dude. I tried to turn it into the honky tonk, <laughs> dude. They they got so mad. They can't just let us have fun. They can't let us have cool flags. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a cool flag, dude. We're not allowed to even have it on TV anymore. <laughs> and you look like a Confederate statue come to life. Yes. Too. Oh. <laughs> dude. Thank you, Sam. That's been what I've been going for. Yeah. That mustache comes yeah. back. It's coming. So what did you stick did you stick to the song and you finish out? It got Commandeered, dude. Oh. You should. They smiley pirate. They smiley pirated it. There was a coup. There was a coup, dude. <laughs> you should have just switched. Be like Tuesday. Tuesday's gone. Tuesday's gone. <laughs> it was. It Give was me too two late. steps. <laughs> Who knows what those music videos look like? <laughs> Probably having fucking clans robes. Yeah. <laughs> what are they doing, Skinner? <laughs> Skinner let me down, dude. I did not know they were going to play the music video, dude. I, I didn't either. Oh. It was 50 50. Sometimes they did. You're smiling like, woo. Yeah, I was like, isn't this a funny goof, guys? Oh. It's a long intro, and then, too. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Is that why that song's so associated? That's like the song. If you're like thinking of white people being yes. like racist, they're playing that song. Yes. It is it's the It's got to be the video. What, did the, what do they even play the music video of Sweet Home Alabama on? It looked like they were in like a stage. They were it's in like video. they were in like a room. But where did they? Play oh, the really? Video? They must have recorded the video like years before they were actually playing music videos. Like, was it on like VH? It was like, it's like a, it was like a live footage from the show. Oh, uh, okay. It was like a whole set they did. I thought it was on like MTV too. Yeah, I thought it was like I've, MTV I've seen the too. Freebird from yeah, that. It's pretty tight. Insane. But the the background of their stage is a giant Confederate flag. Again? Whoa. Yeah. Can't even sing fucking free bird at karaoke? No, you can't. For 34 minutes? I wish I could have. Yeah, Did they it think was, it was uh, premeditated? Did they think you were pulling a goof? Uh, you were pulling a goof. I was right? pulling a goof. But I didn't you, know the goof would be so effective. Okay. No. Yeah. I didn't know they were rocking the flag. Yeah. Blasting that. I guess I could have guessed yeah. that. You know I, what I mean? I could have possibly surmised there might be a Confederate flag. <laughs> I didn't. I wouldn't think there would be. I just figured everybody would have a good sense of humor about it. Yeah, man. They would have. If, they they you know, didn't like it. Yeah. Can you do the, like the ISIS national anthem on karaoke? <laughs> I actually was trying to sing the national anthem. That's what I was looking for. That'd been great. I was gonna get the mic. That's the whitest song you could sing in a black karaoke. Oh yeah. Oh say. Yeah. <laughs> they would be fuming. They're all dude. kneeling. They would have been fuming. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah, it was uh, it was a fun night. But that was. What did you do after the? What was? What did you do after? Sat down, that? didn't sing again. <laughs> what? Did not sing again. You should have followed up with Vanilla Ice, Ice, Ice Baby, dude. I had nothing in the dang, tank. Dang, 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 dang. Dude, you should have followed. It up with was Ice, like Ice, actual Baby. people, like, man, what the fuck is this? And I was like, uh, <laughs> like it was. How they take you down off the stage? They, there was no stage. We, were, we, it was in a room. Oh. It was like a karaoke bar. You should have stage drove. Still, you should have just jumped on everybody, <laughs> dude. <laughs> It, it was not bad. Caught him. They, they, that was the only song that got turned off. What were you sipping on? Uh, some vodkies. Oh, vodki sodies. Yeah, that's why I'm moving awfully slow today. Really? Just in time for, I think I got three fucking shows tonight, and I have to drive to Harrisburg. Really? I'm going to Pittsburgh tomorrow. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to split that in half. Right. Good move. But yeah, it was a good night. That sounds like a fun time. Yeah. You saw, you know. Did you like? At what, what, what point did you relinquish the mic? And who, oh, I took, mean, it, who uh, took it from you? Thirty seconds in. <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, it got crushed. You to stand your ground. On that one, I tried man. to stand my ground. Dude. There's <laughs> no. too many of them. <laughs> you were surrounded. I was surrounded. Dude. <laughs> you had yeah, the mic. Yeah, yeah. All the kangles are turning <laughs> backwards. <Yeah. laughs> they got me. Did you get to say "carry me home to my kin" before they took the mic? <laughs> I kept screaming it. That was like the one thing I kept yelling. <laughs> And then I kept saying, in Birmingham, they love to go over there. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they did not. Oh, it. man. They get mad, dude. Yeah, dude. They don't like white music. Cash checks. Perhaps. Yeah, Gardini yeah. was saying that how, like, during the riots, you know, it was like all this white anger. It's like they were also blasting break stuff, dude. What like, are you going to do? Yeah. When that comes on, you know I'm trying to rape. Oh, I have to. What about burning, burning, breaking, right. dude? If I'm moshing, first of all, if I'm moshing, first of all, like I'm, I'm out of my body. Yeah. yeah. When I mosh, I haven't moshed in a while, but like, dude. When's the last time you moshed? <laughs> what was the concert? I think I know this. You moshed. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was Queens of the Stone Age opened up, and I moshed that rules. Queens of the Stone Age. Tried moshing during RHCP. Nobody was. <laughs> <laughs> He's just bumping into people standing there like, hey, mister. I think I tried to fire the pit back up, dude. It's like. 
<laughs> you were like, <"Bleh." laughs> scar tissue. I was like, Fuck, yeah. yeah. The Queens of the Stone Age pot, uh, mosh pit was lit, dude. Uh, oh, yeah. Just flailing going under the bridge. God, I, I fucking hate mosh pits. Dude, they fucking they bother You're me. a big dog. Everyone's going for I it. Hate, I I've never been in one. You got to protect They're your knees, man. You've oh, never been in one? Dude, you no. would love a mosh You oh, would, think I go to music where they have mosh pits? I grew dude, up I, going I don't go. I don't, I don't go to concerts. Yeah. They're gay. Dancing is gay. The idea of concerts Mosh pitting is gay. Mosh pitting rules, dude. Yeah. It's a communal It's going to be just moshing at my wedding. <laughs> it's going to be I just- will mosh at your wedding. <laughs> that, that would be nice to have the, the African-American side present their custom, their cultural dance. <laughs> yeah. And then it's we like, mosh- now, please make way for the white. It's like mosh- a New Zealand wedding where the yeah, one side everybody- does the haka. <laughs> And then mud vein comes out yeah. for your side. <laughs> Although wall, I will say, the wall of death, corn at Woodstock '99 it was fucking sick. Dude. Shit, dude, it was so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got me fired up. That's world. actually what led me to watch the James Brown thing because I was trying to find like the best video or like concerts I've ever seen. Yeah. And then there's Metallica '1991 in Moscow. Yeah, I saw that video. Enter Sandman. Mm-hmm. Watch the video. That video rules. Also, it's watch crazy. Slayer in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Really? It's like a hundred thousand people Jesus doing the circle of death. I'm gonna take a look Christ. at it. How Fires much- me up. Yeah, dude. I like seeing it. I would hate being in it. Yeah, it turns your blood to electricity. Watching it, I don't that like shit. that. I don't like. I would hate it too because having grown up going to hardcore punk shows, they always go for your knees because I was always the big dog. They would try to take your they knees. Take the yeah, big dog down, sure. dude. Yeah, it's it's yeah. It's a point of pride. I'm, I'm not doing you. this. You don't yeah, have to. It's Gulliver's You're Travels. I like it. Dude, it's yeah. Gulliver's Travels. Exactly. You get a yeah. bunch of, you get <laughs> a little, a bunch of little mall employees. To you. To it's just down. mall employees, dude. And they see a big dog and they just all start turning on you. <laughs> Fuck them. And you like this stuff? You like I going and it. bumping into the guys? Yeah, as a kid, when you're not getting laid, it's like, let's go with the fellas. Yeah, let's, let's just fuck fucking the touch kids. each other's bodies. Yeah, exactly. Slam. Get shirtless. You yeah, just had a dynasty in NCAA. I mean, I did do that. You did both. I'm I'm multifaceted. I don't like that. Yeah. That's not for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> dude, the pit. Dude, if the wall of death closed in on you, you wouldn't know what to do. I, I've only Matt, ever done. You didn't have a fucking mosh pit in your life, dude. <laughs> only Queens, there was like seven people moshing in Queens. List of yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, How many like times? the wall of death, dude, at Dobega. <laughs> yeah, fucking Ari invited me to go to a music festival like this year. I was like, no. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he wanted to go like Bonnaroo. I was like, dude, uh, I'm not going to that. Gross. I'm not going to stay in a fucking tent mm-hmm. for three days. Sleeping in a tent kind of rules, but. Sleeping in a tent rules when it's not 900 fucking yes. degrees and you're not waking up hungover. Yeah. Oh, dude. oh, my God. And when you're alone in the peace of nature, it's great. Yeah, yeah. man. I, I only was... slept in tents in my backyard in my parents' house. Ooh, but the adventure. Very fun. No, that rules. The worst, I slept in a tent. I went to, years ago, my friends took me to Firefly. It's just, we were, it, I was like 27 at the time and I was, I felt old at the, at this place. It was all just like 19 year olds. And I slept in a tent. I yeah, never. Maybe I should go. Eh, no, you, there'd be babies. <laughs> you could have babies in your tent. But dude, <laughs> oh, can you? <laughs> well, that's a selling point. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize you had to vent the tent, so I just slept in like yeah, a purely zippered up tent and just I'd woke never, up like <gasps> I've yeah. never I was not, dying. never not woken up in a tent like that, dude. It was fucking hell. Yeah, yeah it is hell. Could have died. You could have passed away. Could have. A guy died, died in the Woodstock '99 documentary. Just one. It's pretty funny. This guy, he's like, I can't. He had a journal, kept a diary. He was like, oh. I can't wait to mosh for Met- Metallica. What? Was it Metallica or Corn? And he fucking died. Oh. <laughs> he was journaling at Woodstock '99. Yeah, he's journaling. What a weenus! And then he was like, "I can't wait to get in the mosh pit for Metallica tonight." His final night. words. <laughs> and he fucking. How did he, he die? Had a heat stroke in a tent. <laughs> Not in the tent. <laughs> oh, he just died outside. <laughs> Do you think that was the last thing he heard and saw? It was like, I know it's a funny approach the tunnel. It's actually, it is a cool way to go. Yeah, to enter Sandman. Just dying while Metallica's on stage, just (laughs) fucking. True. You're pissed you didn't go to hell. You're like, what the fuck? True. (laughs) I was was being so devilish. (laughs) I was a wicked guy. Yeah. (laughs) He seemed like a sweetheart. He probably was, man. Yeah, he's keeping a journal. He was real sweet. He was a sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of metalheads are sweet babies. That's the one thing I hate about them the most. They're they're like, well, you know. They're all like. Don't you fucking put your hands on women, you piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude, don't you worship the devil? Yeah, I thought you guys were devil worshippers. Yeah. the fuck, dude? You should be advocating You should be violence. cutting their heads off. Yeah. <laughs> you should be drinking their blood. 
Spirit, you're getting into spirit cooking. <laughs> I'm familiar, dude. You know what I forgot about was uh, when you're high. What do you do when you're high on drugs? We were talking about this in Boston, like yorping or oh, torping and soplar. Torping and soplar. Soplar is where you just go, <laughs> and the demons, <laughs> the demons scatter. But if they don't scatter, you got to torp. What's torping? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's that's a. I mean, you gotta be careful. And have you done this? No, I didn't need to. I told you. I remember what I said. No. If you pray, you don't even do this. Stuff. Oh yeah, if you yeah, I fear yeah, God. If you just fucking dial in the ultimate boss, dude. If you fear God. If you just gotta, if you just connect with the Brahman, sure. you don't need to do it. Dude. No, what are you talking about? The dude? Brahman. No, you need to worship God. <laughs> I'm on the feds, dude. Worship Jesus. The Bible man. rules. The Jesus rules. Bit of a stickler though. I'm reading. The, I'm reading some of these rules. I'm like, dude, come on, man. What the hell's wrong with that? What? Like, dude. Well, it's funny. I'm I'm reading the Bible the other day, and, and it's like, do not pray like the heathens, where you just recite your prayers. And he's like, pray like this, and just says to our father. I'm like, well, you'd be pissed if you know what people are doing. Yeah. Yeah. So. I've been tripped out on a variety of drugs, and I've never torped or serbered. Serbered? <laughs> Whatever. The, yeah. I've never, like, I've never barked or squealed. I'm telling you, man. I, I've, the we guy, were squealing on those mushrooms dude, that time. Boy, were we ever. Do you know Danny Ravito? <laughs> Bro. Oh, my God. That was so brutal. Dude. Also, I have oh, a bone no. to pick with you. Why? You... Called me out for not being able to chug beers as fast as you. And what happened? What happened before that, though? What Shane? happened? It was neck and neck. Please tell and me you what happened. You bested me. What happened? You bested me. But who- also, I want you to know this before you try to cast me in a bad light here. <laughs> you brought this up. You brought up the chugging. I quietly laid in wait. Mm-hmm. And I said, this guy's going to make a fucking ass about himself yeah. in front of everyone. <laughs> He picked the wrong gunslinger. But so you challenged the chug. He brought, his, no. he brought his guns to town. No. was My opening offer was not to chug out of a glass and like a wuss. Out of the glass Mine is how you chug. Mine was to shotgun beers. And you were like, but oh, there's I spillage. don't like to do that. There's I get spillage. gassy. I didn't say anything about being gassy. I'm always gassy, Sam. <laughs> okay. I don't fear gassy. Well, you fart like Hitler. <laughs> this is what happened. Sam I came in and was like, I'm the rootinest tootinest. I'll take anybody <laughs> yeah. off. And I said, nah, you don't want to go talking like that around these parts. Damn. <laughs> Sam was like, I'm from Colorado. I'll take on any comers. <laughs> and I said, bam, you motherfucker. That's a Coors Light. That's I a just, silver bullet damn, to the you just took a, you took a leather glove off and you said, I went, <laughs> sat back down at the bar, dude. How many times you guys chug? Twice. Twice. Yeah. How, how close was it? It was close. close. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened, Sam. I wanted to shotgun because it's you fun. You guys humiliated us. You, you made it a there's, contest. You got embarrassed. You were like, I need oh, to best oh. him. You came I need to make like him submit asshole. to my will. Sam, you showed your ass in front of everyone. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was a worthy opponent. You were a worthy I opponent. Was. I do agree with that. Yes. I, I Shotgunning that. spills a lot, though. Yeah. I'll spill. You can just dumb. fucking let it no, outside. I, mean, I have a tool on my feet. a nice glass. Boom. Gone. See you later. I like to blast some shotguns. Get back to the guest house. That's what I said. We're in the bar. I said, boom. Bedtime. You Sam. were in the guest house. <laughs> I said, Sam, it's bedtime. Get in there. I had to go down the and street. Sam tucked tail and went to bed. <laughs> I had to kick the can. No, we didn't tuck tail. We no, ate those we, mushrooms. We ate those and then mushrooms. were rude to stand up. <laughs> we were oh. mean to talk. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. I haven't I haven't laughed like that. That was him. Oh man, just trying to gather our composure up yeah. on that roof and be like, oh. all right, we got us. I we're, took my shirt off. We were being disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, we it was were. very. You're like, on, yeah, well, yeah, I guess clearly from his perspective, yeah. Like, and we could tell he knew. Yeah, we were up on the roof, just Tackling, da- scream laughing, screaming about his dog eating his cat, <laughs> oh. and then him having to do anything Me-wing. athletic. Me-wing. No, Me-wing. <laughs> <laughs> the humanity. Just the idea of him having to spring into action. Oh yeah, and killing it, us. Scr- <sighs> like smoking to be like. Good God. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been a, a real Hunter S. Thompson type. Dear God, the cat's gone to hell. <laughs> like after meat wig, no. The brutality. <laughs> it's got to suck Henry, people Henry, laughing. Henry, you foul brutes. <laughs> yeah, what you have beast. you done? <laughs> the beast. <laughs> and then we were like, we have to go down there and be nice to Doug. He's a legend. He's putting us He's up. He's the man. And then we went down there, and he has this proclivity to like ask you if you know some road headliner from 1993. That's yeah, what he always yeah. Every conversation yeah. is like that. Yeah. So we and come was, down the stairs oh. trying to center ourselves. We were, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, lot, a, lot of, a lot of beefing and squiffing. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we get down there, and he turns on his bar stool, wearing sunglasses at night with his mohawk, and he's like, 
You guys know Danny <laughs> Rubino, and we both collapsed. Oh, <laughs> he was no. immediately right back <laughs> out the door. And he was human, dude. Yeah. I don't. I was. I said a little. Every every few oh, nights, fuck. Stanhope would turn on you. Yeah, and it would be a rough night, dude. Oh, yeah. Every couple nights, he'd be like, "Look at you, you fucking, you're fat." Yeah. <laughs> like something just out of nowhere. Yeah. And I'd be like, "What the you fuck, fucking dude? pant load?" <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, because I mean, our dude, we were on different vibes, dude. We yeah. were mushrooms laughing. He was drunk, angry, uh, oh. and it was. Watching baseball, just furious. Oh, that's there the best the drunk angry Diamondbacks game. Diamondbacks, yeah. <laughs> chain smoking. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> baseball is perfect for drunk guys. You can just like completely tune out for twenty minutes and be like, "We got a ball game here. What do we got going yeah, on yeah. here?" Yeah, you can tune right. out. It's the one changed. sport that you can see the entire story. Yeah. Oh yeah. They have a stat line. That's the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have to be an hits, active participant. You can see everything. No. Yeah. It's a great game to drink too. Horrible game if you're not drinking. Yeah. Worse yeah, if you're Jesus. on mushrooms though. Yeah, like, and baseball. It. Let's go to the roof. <laughs> yeah, the roof was great. Yeah, I did. I took my shirt off and immediately regretted it. No, Do you remember I, that? I didn't. I didn't knock well, you. I was like, it. we didn't really know each other that well, and I was like, I'm gonna take my shirt off, and you were like, all right. <laughs> oh yeah, I do, did. I do remember. Do that. whatever you need. I to. did. Yeah, I do remember. <laughs> you guys that are on mushrooms. Me, you kind of want to. It made me slightly shed uncomfortable. Your clothes. Yeah, I, I know it did. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was weird. Yeah. Hmm. Out alpha. <laughs> that would have been beautiful if you guys went at it up there. Out alpha. I kept it quiet. I said out alpha. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I was. I still bear the mark of that lost chugging, though. Well, I and then immediately I, you talked what? about it, and I was like, that's not the whole story. What would you say the whole story we were, I wanted a shotgun. And then okay. you were like, no, no. I was like, I I'm going to show you how great I am I'm going to chug out of the glass. Yeah. And then you were like, I'll kill you in that. And I was like, okay, well, I guess yeah. we'll find out. No, I did. Uh, <laughs> I did get <laughs> blasted. <laughs> Who witnessed this? Everyone Doug. who's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Doug All the, the cool guys in Bisbee. <laughs> oh, Doug, Jay Lee, like, Tracy. Whoa, Shane's the best. <laughs> yeah, they did the worm. Was Everybody great. was excited. Shane wins. Yeah. Doug was like, you know a guy named Mark Tray Lee? <laughs> 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 oh my God. That's that might be the funniest possible thing you come down to when you're trying to keep it together. Bro. Someone is whirling back in sunglasses. <laughs> Hitting us with that, and both of us are like, no, dude. no, that wasn't no. alive. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was man, rough. fuck, he is the fucking best. No he's better. so funny, yeah. dude. That's it's crazy. Uh, His setup sounds like a rules, dude. Compound, and he's he's a lot. He's normal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like so, yeah. like when he's not drunk in the morning, he's for very like a day. for like two or three hours in the morning. He's very much like, what are you doing here? Yeah, what are we doing? Uh-huh. This is weird. Yeah. And then I'll start drinking and be like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> There's always like a glimpse in the morning where he's like, I made you breakfast. Mm-hmm. And then you sit there quietly eat breakfast with him. Oh, he reads yeah. his news. And then he reads and like yeah. writes and does all that shit. Really? Yeah. All he eats is caviar. Like all he had was caviar and booze calories while I was there. That's all I saw him consume. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah, he, he does not this- eat. He has a bunch of like a cabal of people around him who do all of his busy work. Yeah. I heard that, that kind of pumped me up. Yeah. He just kind of just shows up, oh, gets yeah. hammered, eats caviar. Now I, I didn't know he eats caviar it's too. A very enviable lifestyle. Yeah, he's got a squad. Yeah, he's got a very tight knit squad. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty they, tight. they do rule. Yeah, and by do rule, enable him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they enable quite a bit, but they're having fun he's too. He's signing the checks. Yeah, yeah. Damn, are they sycophants? No, no, no there's not family. at all. And also, he'll food shame. Aggressive food shaming. One that's time, Shaylee up. made like a whole turkey. That kind of rules. And he's like, true. we're going to have a turkey. And I was like, awesome. And all they were cooking this turkey. And then the turkey's provided. And Doug's like, you guys ever heard of portion control? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, he hates You don't need people. all that turkey. He crushes yeah. fat people. He found a fat roll in my side and put his finger in there and wiggled it around. It was the most yeah. violated I've ever been, dude. Yeah, he fat shames hard. Does yeah. he really? He oh, loves yeah. it. Is he ripped? No, he's emaciated. No. <laughs> he's very skinny. He's got wagon train body, dude. Yeah. He is, yeah. He's from a different century. Oh, yeah. He's got like alcohol laborer body. Yeah. Those dudes are like only eat chips at lunch and just drink a six pack on break. They're mm-hmm. always like skeleton shredded. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually exactly what he has. He that has rolls. that weird like, uh, you know, African gut that's like distended, you nice. know, from like lack of nutrients. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One time he it's... went, he like the first day I was there, he took me to the bank and he's like, watch this. Hey, can I have a thousand dollars? And they were like, "Sure." And yeah. He's like, "I don't even need to show my ID." Like, <laughs> yeah, All right, man. Cool, cool party actually, trick. 
Kind of funny. It's like, oh, I can't believe you're trashing Stanhope. I'm like not. This. I'm I can't not. believe it, man. I'm that is funny to pull up. Like, I have a thousand. That's because. That's because. Yeah. All the good things that have come from Doug my book. favors you over me. Of course, because I'm another. Because author. you're an author. Yeah. You're just but I would never. Ba- I would never bash him like this. Yeah, you've never bashed him. I would never do what you're doing. You should write an expose yeah. on Douglas. No, I support Douglas. On Samuel, on me? Yeah. Wait, next I might day. have to. Yeah. I'm going to call Doug after this. Write a text. I am too. I'm going to call. Him I actually. I, did I tell <laughs> we'll you this? Call him faster. After I did uh, Rogan, I was like, full crabs world. I was like, what? What did I say? And I thought I talked shit on Stanhope. Yeah. So I called him, uh-huh. and I was like, I think I might have talked shit on you. Yeah. And he was like, I don't give a fuck at all. Right. And I didn't. He's unflappable. He didn't care. Did you yeah. call him and say I didn't talk shit on you? Uh, no, I texted him and I was like, I didn't talk shit at all. I'm crazy. He also, must, must me like, saying anything about his bank antics, I don't think is. I'm not. I just wouldn't do it. You've, I wouldn't. Shane do it just even. get in your oh, head. Yeah. Shane's in your fucking head. Dude. Shane loves to live in my head. Yeah, you can get Shane's in. Shane's the best at that. He's I don't know how. I mean, I value good. our our friendship. We have a great friendship. I know, but you guys being so close, I can't imagine some of the things Shane has done to play with your mind. I don't fuck with. You Matt. can only get in if we're playing video games. I don't fuck yeah. with Matt. Yeah, you're only for playing games. I don't know why. I never fuck with Matt. I never fuck with Matt. I never. Well, Matt's a dickhead. Stone, yeah. almost stone walls, he's dude. an actual secret yeah. he's a fucking he's a dickhead dude i've seen nice it. as hell no i've seen i've seen what you've done to people you can see i work subtly i work in a subtle he works manner. very subtly yeah it's always he, this is his move he'll compliment himself while digging you <laughs> it's very funny it's that very funny level. i've seen it yeah and uh also when we we've joined forces a couple times and it's pretty devastating dude. when matthew and i team up and I mean, what happened to Beezer and Wood every single time we played oh, yeah. NHL? When did you guys put him in the Doomsday Device and you put him off the top row? I mean, it was it was insane dude, what we would do yeah. to those two. It's it's a <laughs> it's the complete <laughs> will of God that we weren't somehow we didn't end up in like the CIA fucking with like foreign countries. <laughs> It'd be so easy to topple foreign governments. So easy. You're just destabilizing what we South did, America. What we did to the bees and the wood, man. They turned on each other, dude. We made oh, them yeah. actually not friends. <laughs> You puppeteered their downfall. Yes, <laughs> we're Complete playing NHL. War, dude. If they started, if they started getting up, we would just absolutely destroy morale. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was easy. It was easy to make them. T- all you'd have to be is like, "Who's red? They kind of suck." Oh yeah, and then they'd be like, "It's fucking six. <laughs> like just right away, they would be like, "It's not like, me, dude. Look at any fucking goals, it. dude." Or we just praise the other guy, like, "Dude." Blue is nice with it. Yeah. Yeah. Blue is nice. It sucks you got this fucking chump on your team, and they'd be like, <laughs> "Well, you guys have the classic, like you know, uh, you know, mastermind, and then giant galoot. <laughs> that's that's just you know the archetype." <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a good combo. Oh it's yeah, a deadly sure. combo. You stick him on people. <laughs> it's a good operation. Oh man, it's also funny because me and Matt know each other well enough. We can see each other get mad. Oh yeah, yeah. I can always tell. <laughs> like if Matt's going at somebody, because <laughs> they can't. Yeah, he's very subtle about it. Dude, and you I- wouldn't know he was talking shit. You would just slowly start to feel insecure about things. <laughs> Do you have that thing where if anyone mouths off to Matt, you're like yeah, ready to go? Definitely, but nobody yeah. does. Right? No, rightfully so. Dude, you're you're a unit. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Last week, me and Matt here were on our way to a sick ass party. They're pretty sick. We're both crushing it. Everybody get up, it's time to space change. You guys ever see the movie Half Baked? <laughs> it's like my favorite, that and Sublime. <laughs> I was never high. <laughs> I was like never high once. And Fuck. then, yeah, freshman year in college, I got I was like, oh, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is it. Yeah, yeah. I got high enough that I was like having trouble walking. Yeah. Yeah. What were you smoking on? I forget. I don't know. What we were smoking out of? Yeah. I don't remember. It was like a bomb. The kid I was with was a bit of a wigger, so I'd imagine a blunt. True. They'll do it Blunts too. would knock me. To- All of a sudden, we smoke blunts constantly. Yeah. Dude, those things are insane. They're crazy. I remember. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Before. All right. Oh. This is how I used to get. We used to smoke. We would just take gravity bongs constantly. Yep. Every night. We would rip like three of them. Yep. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I can smoke weed. It's just because for like five years, I was as high as possible. Yeah. Gravity bongs are wretched. They were wretched. That's what the guard dog's on. Guard dog, you rip gravity bomb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right, though. You were like, what? You're, how old are you? Not to air you out, guard dog. You're 23? Perfect. It's perfect age for gravity. It's about bong. as tight as it gets. It's, it's very, think about it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> very economical. Sliding into the dog. Very economical, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like it's, a bowl pack, right? The size, I mean, it's teeny. They're small. Yeah. 
it was it was crazy what that what that did to me. Sorry, guard dog. Part my one part of myself was saying, "Don't put out guard dog's business." And I went, "What? He rips gravity bongs? When? So how fun. often do you do that? What do you do, do, do that?" <laughs> I think there's some microdoses. <laughs> Titten, does anybody have any incubus to play? <laughs> you are stellar. Um, you smoke gravity bongs. Yeah, yeah, to go to sleep usually. That's what I was doing. Yep. Don't do that. Just I'm Isaac rest, Newton, dude. dude. I love gravity. <laughs> <laughs> you love gravity. <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I remember the... Uh, same thing. I smoked it a couple times, and then I went when I went to CET. We like sat in the woods and just got so high. I was probably like fourteen, and I remember I dropped a quarter on the counter, and it just went, ba boom, and hit. And it was like in total slow motion. I was just like, eh. I don't remember the movie at all. I remember just going in there, just being like, really, it was crazy, dude. I think I fully unlocked my schizophrenia. It, like I remember, ET kind of looked like a cartoon to me. I remember just watching it and being like, well, "This was a cartoon." <laughs> and I just like went home and just like crawled into my bed and was like, <sighs> "Yeah, that's usually how that goes." I got high and saw the Dark Knight. Ooh, that was pretty sick. Something the opening dark- scene was like an explosion for some reason. Like the, I could have sworn that's how it started. It was like a purple explosion. Sounds I was sick. Just like, <laughs> and then word of the shooting happened, and I was like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> yeah, it was like the night that happened. Oh, people were like looking at their phones. It was like a massive shooting. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking of dying in a movie theater. Like how that would be. Yeah. Like a tear. Cause that kid had like smoke. Did he, he like, really? Tear, yeah. I think he, he was, I think he was wearing a gas mask. Oh, he, and he like tear gassed the room. Yeah. And then started shooting. Oh, and people were like, yeah, you can't get out. He's standing at the exit. Yeah. There's not many exits in there. Yeah. Damn, what an And orange. I was just thinking of how ho- like horrible that in the middle of a movie. Do you think he Joker laughed dead ass? I, I mean, bet he did. Being dead ass. He must he, have. You think he was like, yeah. Although this was, <laughs> truthfully, this was opening night. This was like midnight premiere. So he didn't even get to see how sick the Joker actually was. True. I wonder if he got to watch it in prison. I bet they gave him a They hooked him up. I hope they didn't. I hope someone was like, no. Yeah, you're not watching Batman. Don't let it. He doesn't get to see this, dude. He ruined, ruined it. He yeah. ruined it for everybody. And, Arch villain, dude. I wonder how much that their box office debut. Pretty bad. Because I remember going to the movie after that and being a little like, dude. I still think about that sometimes. Yeah. I think we were watching. Uh, I was watching Solo, Han, the Han Solo movie the other day. <laughs> stunk. Dude, why? Why is everyone saying it stunk? That was good. I'm. I'm not all the way done. It. You know. I mean. I mean. Obviously, I probably know what happens at the end. It was decent. Apparently, uh, I think it was Donald Glover's character. They came out after the fact and like, you know, he's pansexual, right? To try to get what, some Lando. Like, yeah, to try to get some like hype around the character, and I think the other actor was just like, "They're will you guys just accept the fact?" They're trying he's to make Lando, he's pan? pan. He's pan. What's that? Spy. It's like super bi. It's like you <laughs> pansexual just means you're not like you don't guys because you're gay. You just guys because you like everyone. The, is that cr- look up pansexual. Yeah. It's right here. It is. You I could think like it's they want anything really. So he like the aliens. Yeah, that's the whole point. It's like the robot. If I was in Star Wars, there's some aliens that could get it. Well, that was down really? that, for sure. I mean, his robot was some kind droids? of hot. huh? Some droids. Oh yeah, that that, that, that was the thing. Apparently, yeah. he was kind of like fingering his robot. Is that like a female C three PO? Ooh, like C three PO with tits. Is there? Oh, there or am is. Am I thinking of uh, Spaceballs? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was, uh, one of the other actors that came out against it was like, what, what are you guys doing? Well, I'd be pissed if like they made a movie like 20 years later. And Lando's, what's that, Carl Weathers? Yeah. Well, there was, is oh, that Creed? Sure. No, it's the same. Billy no, D. Williams. Billy D. Williams. Yeah, Billy Cole D. Williams. 40. Yeah. Um, yeah, Cole 45. <laughs> Billy D. He did two characters, Lando and then a Cole 45 commercial. <laughs> when it comes to having a good time, I've got it down to a science. Now, first, you get yourself into the right clothes. And then you get Cole 45. Make sure you got enough for you and that someone special. And then you get yourself to a good time place. <sighs> the rest is easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course. Dude, Billy D. Williams is going to be pissed. Yeah. That's like touching. That's suicide by black dude. True. <laughs> if you're like, oh, yeah, that character was gay the whole time. He's like, mother. You know, body language tells you a lot about what a person's thinking. For instance, that means she has an interest in the finer things in life. That means she also wants a little fun in her life, but only with the right man. And we all know what that means. 
You mind if I join you? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, Billy D. Williams is from that time. He's from like the seventies, and he's like one of those free love guys. I can see him being like pansexual. Dude, Lemay, you. watch your mouth, dude, on yeah. about Billy D. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, <laughs> yeah. come on man. You know that that's not the case. <laughs> the seventies black just out there. No. Yeah, man. Especially not hawking Colt forty five, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You guys know Richard Pryor was gay, right? Yes. Yeah, everybody knows Very gay. So that's the 70s. So he just was there a... was one black... <laughs> you know one gay black guy from the 70s? Paul or... Mooney. Two... <laughs> the same crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah those two probably... <laughs> Dude, did I, did I talk about that? Where I watched the roast of Paul Mooney? Or was it the roast of Richard Pryor? Where he, like, outs Paul Mooney? Yeah. It's incredible. So it's on the, on the panel. Paul Mooney's sitting next to him. He's like, I want you to know, Paul's a f- <laughs> Like, everyone's like, uh, and he's like, we all know you're a f- you've been a f- and Paul knows I'm a f- <laughs> he's like, and I want to say it before he says it. <laughs> it's very funny. Damn. Yeah. How'd the moon man take it? Everybody was laughing, but I think Mooney, Mooney was a little like, man, man, why don't you out me? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that would be, yeah. that'd be tough on national television. It wasn't. It wasn't. It couldn't have been. Yeah, <laughs> it couldn't yeah. have been national television. <laughs> one, one, Not for the language, but they were black. Ah, uh, right. No, but national. No, they wouldn't have put that on. I think it was. I think it was like private. Really? I don't think it was aired. It's it, on YouTube. Though. Some old the YouTube. footage is on YouTube. I Damn. think it was supposed to be private. And now it's, you know, is that a private roast? Now he's out there. Yeah. Yeah. People do that still. Yeah. Like in little scenes, you see them and you're just like, who gives a yeah. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tight. What else is going on? What do we got? What's on the record? There was a uh, car full of black dudes that got just shot with shotguns. So there was some boys in that small town were getting rowdy. And that's when Bruce went up the day after. There was like, there was riots. Bruce, you know, he saw some of his boys. He saw Started some of his He wore all dungarees. He full put the, dungaree out. That was a bandana flag. So he's like... <laughs> Yeah, rip the sleeves off. <laughs> Immediately, he was like, "I'm not having this." I gotta fix this. But he said he did. He was trying to talk to some of his black friends, and they were like, "Not today, Bruce." He was like, "I understand. I wouldn't understand." Yeah, well, he. Uh, but he was saying he was like, it was "The like, best way for us to get past this is for us not to talk." Yeah, that's the best way to solve these problems. Well, is Brock, for us to understand, we can't talk. It was so funny because Brock was like, "Well, that was him leaving the door open, but just saying like, not right now." Yeah, People it's good. Saying. I think it's important for guys like Barack Hussein Obama to speak for the entire black community. For sure. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it was uh it was weird. It was, it was talking about that, but he did say I think he was talking about how he's like, you know, my family is a bunch of rednecks, but I love them. He's like I love them. They're the people I love. They're small town folks. They ain't perfect, but they're the people I love. It's like so maybe he still maybe maybe he loves Trump. Bruce Springsteen might love Trump. I doubt it, though. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah, Trump's Unless he's best. Deep on, he might be. He might be deep undercover. Yeah, but no, I, I doubt he is. But yeah, that was his whole thing of him as being like, "Yeah, we got a lot of guitars up here. And let's let's keep a pick ready in case I want to make some music with you, Brock." I, I bet like, Brock. Yeah, Brock. Like, I've been known to sing. He said he's been known to sing. Yeah. If he has some live, I bet he's got a good voice. He's got a great voice. I bet he can sing. Probably does. Brock's yeah. outsider story was sick. What he was just this? lived in Hawaii, and he yeah, he was chilling with his Scotch Irish grandfather, and people would come up and be like, "Oh, is you know like is he like Hawaiian?" And uh, his grandfather would be like, "He's actually son of the king of Hawaii, like you know royal yeah. blah 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 blah." And he's like, "But I didn't look like anyone," so he was jammed up about that. Yeah, Bruce was like, "My dad looked up." He's like, oh, I didn't look like anyone. And they're just yeah. like, born. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole episode. It's just them. It'd be funny if his his Hawaiian dad was like, hey, this this kid is black as hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this black kid? No, he's from like Kenya. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I think his dad, yeah, his dad was uh, African. He was from Kenya. Yeah. His Kenya. He certainly was. And his mom was a cornbread White Kansas? Bitch. I yeah. think Kansas, right? You're absolutely right. I believe I know that. You are Brock then. I'm definitely Bruce. No, I'm more Brock. Yep. I, I knew you were. All right. 
You're a statesman. I hate this podcast. Like, well, you can put some shoes on. He's going to see you with your bare feet. And it was like, <laughs> who cares? And it's like, it was like highly offensive. I wouldn't be with my girl if she did it. She was just out barefoot walking. And I was like embarrassed in my soul. I was like, oh, I'm out here walking with a barefoot oh, woman. See, oh, yeah. You're saying that. There's nothing hotter to me than a chick in her bare feet outside. He's got a white lady. Oh, there you go. Well, I just tried to throw that out there and then not go any further. She's a white yeah, white ladies love. You gotta let. I just sat up. Relax. I, I, I wasn't. You I, gotta no, let. But you, if no. you have a white lady, you have to let her bare feet touch the ground, and then she'll go inside and write an Instagram post like this long. Just let her do it. She needs it. Do you have live, laugh, love cursive in your apartment? Nah, man, my apartment's black. I got it. Just, just so if my family comes, I'm like, no, nah, she's a good one. Like that's yeah. How it is. So what do you I, have in your apartment that makes it black? Uh, I, I can't think of the name of it. Other people's stuff? Mayor's <laughs> 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 pissed. Mayor's <laughs> pissed. Shut up, Mayor. <laughs> Lamar was pissed. Did you see him? Lamar used to live. Lamar lived with us for years. Yeah, he's he's been there. It's, it's, what do you? I have um. I don't know. You know the painting of that like black concord that's in the um. Yes. The museum over. Yeah, there? the Moor. The, yeah, that yeah. thing rules. Yeah, I got I got that all in, in my, the Philly Museum. Have I've you ever seen that yeah, painting? I've never seen it. No. Oh, I was in there the first time I went to the museum. I, that painting stuck with me. I was like, damn, how is this not everywhere? Yeah. If I was a black dude. I, this would be it's like a painting of like Napoleon for us. Yeah. The rules. He just went. I think through Spain just like yeah, he's a more people fucking up. people up. I think he's in like an all white thing with like a sword yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it rules i kind of does kind of rule yeah i got that it made him a little blacker than i would have liked but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> so you have a mass I murder the moors, were, the moors were a little more north african arabic but that's fine that's you fine. think <laughs> they claimed him that's fine that's fine they did yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they certainly did in that painting but that's fine that's fine that's, fine. <laughs> that's all y'all do is that's claim by the whites like who jesus, jesus. <laughs> <laughs> who jesus? For, for the record jesus was blonde hair blue eyes <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's yeah. why they killed him. <laughs> yeah, they're like, freak, get him out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the way they discovered him, there was dancing at the Last Supper. <laughs> that was and it? Jesus was out of tune there. What the? <laughs> he must, he's not one of us. <laughs> yeah, all the apostles were black. Just not Jesus. Jesus. They were just following. <laughs> they were just yeah, following, following Jesus. the great white leader. <laughs> so what did what did you also have? You have you have the more? I have the more, and then it just gets nerd black. Like uh, pop figures of uh, like, from coming to America, that, gotcha, it. gotcha. It's not that. It's not that. I don't. I don't decorate. It's yeah. just walls, a dope picture, and, and that's it. Damn, so what, you're stifling this chick from putting up like like scented wood chips. Pump. You put up a picture of her family. I just threw it at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, like these white old people. No, no that's, that's actually fair. <laughs> that's actually fair. I'll give you that. You don't want to wake up and see that every day. <laughs> Just like thinking about the times they said in the past. But, yeah. Like, <laughs> That'd be like if somebody put up like a Dallas Cowboys fathead <laughs> in my room. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is the team I hate. <laughs> Get rid of them. Yeah, Brittany definitely took control of our house and black arted out. I noticed big some black time, art dude. in there yeah. when I got in there. It's strictly black art. I was excited about that. It's it pretty made tight. me happy that you had black art. He has like chicks with afros. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, like foul power. It's like an airbrush of like a power, yeah. like holding up the power fist, yeah. afros. You had. Let, yeah, Brittany, Brittany deck, decked it out. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, so when your family comes over, they're like, oh, he's, they didn't turn. They're still like one of us. Yeah, I might I might throw up like an airbrush of David Duke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just well, you just have off. to have the reverse paintings. But, no, I was going to put like George Bush. Yeah. Get uh, one, one of, one yeah, of like just, George Herbert Walker. Just have one of those like above the couch. And oh, you can flip it. Like a it? presidential. <laughs> take da a portrait of him. David Duke is only famous to white people. Like, I... Don't know what he looks like. Like I, I know, know the name now. I, don't know what he looks I just like. know the name. Oh, all right. The then name's the name's just funny. Sydney called me the other day, just kind of not like defending David Duke, but he's like, I mean, he's got a right to it. Sydney's when he op when he like opposes Sydney's. thing, it's so funny. When he goes contrarian on this thing, it's so funny. He was like, <laughs> look, man, David Duke. You know, it, it, I forgot what he was saying, but it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have to have the reverse True. paintings. Yeah. For white people, it's like Kincaid paintings. What's Kincaid? Um, they're like those cozy looking like it's like a picture of like a cabin yeah, with yeah. like smoke coming out yeah, of it in the no, woods that's, that's pretty nice I think it's the top selling artist of all time really? it's Thomas Kincaid who's the guy who paints like the whales that's what I'm into remember on like the, the folders there was a guy who strictly oh, painted whales folders of like whales like, unicorns. yeah that's a guy there's a guy who does that damn he, he has a store in California where he sells like the real Binders. paintings of what wow. originally you would find on a binder 
But you can go buy one of those and just have like a sick shot of like a killer whale with like a couple dolphins. True. <laughs> like moonlight, moonlight yeah. in like a purple yeah. sea. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. I think both races would agree on that. I think so. Yeah. That As was if there's for only two. Some killer whales. That's the way. <laughs> Sorry, Noah. <laughs> I forgot to check the other box. Yeah. Did you no, check no, other on your census? I'm not filling out the census. You better fill out the census, what? dude. No, dude. I know. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Yeah, I can ask that. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I am Irish and Italian and Native American. Ooh. Take that. that. last one. What Take that, that baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where the tent came from. Like, you, you had nothing about you. I thought you were. That's Italian. That's Italian? Could be. Okay. <laughs> He's a Ginzo, dude. <laughs> you know, I, I believe it took me a while to it's realize. Ginzo Ronimo. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't even realize the Italians could look like that until what's the boy? I forget his name. Anthony in New York. Wiener. Anthony Wiener. Nah, oh, comedian. Devito. Anthony uh, Devito. I did yeah. something with him like in Allentown or something like early, and and I just until like the end of his set, I thought he was Middle Eastern, and then he just was like, "I'm Italian." I was, God damn it. Yeah. Changed my life. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of Italians come off like Noah, but you Southern know. Italy had a. That's where my Moors, the Moors attack. Isn't that where yeah. my man ran through? Yep. The boy in the, yeah, Southern Italy's always had a, a long history of trade throughout the Arabic and Mediterranean world. So, yeah, you run into a lot of Noahs floating around where us true crusaders would come down and be like, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> be like, I am one of you. I am a cat- Catholic. Oh, please, uh, no. And we'd say, all right, show us where the Muslims are. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd get on a boat. <laughs> um, what are you? <laughs> what the hell are you? I came here from England. I'm pissed. Let me see your sword. <laughs> yeah. All right, you're cool. <laughs> sweet. That's actually a pretty sweet sword. <laughs> you know, when I'm spending a relaxing evening at home with my very special lady, I like to treat her to the very best. I wear the finest clothes, serve the finest gourmet foods. And we enjoy the sparkling taste of Bolt 45 malt liquor. <laughs> There's my lovely now. <laughs> oh, that bus ride got me time. My feet is killing. I know you got something to drink. What'd you expect, Whitney Houston? <laughs> Would you share like to slip the plastic loops? Ah, but of course. Splendid. <laughs> Do you find it acceptable, my flower? As long as you paint, it's fine with me. <laughs> and excuse me, I am a lady. May I please have a paper bag and a straw? <laughs> you know, Bolt 45 has a fine, rich flavor. A mature, multi bouquet. <laughs> Bolt 45 also has five times the alcohol content of the average stout beer. So it gets any lady in the mood for what I'm after. Let's get busy, baby. Somehow I knew she wouldn't refuse me. What'd you say, my flower? You like to slip into something more comfortable? She's such a devil. So remember, if you want class, get champagne. But if you want to score, Get the powerful taste of both 45.